In this video, we are going to talk about speed. We have three examples that we're going to go through, one slide for each example. And I'm going to show you two different ways that you can work these out. First of all, we'll talk about the speed formulas. You'll notice we have this little triangle with a D, an S, and a T. Now, D stands for distance, S stands for speed, and T stands for time. And the way it works is if I wanted to find speed, I look at my triangle and go, all right, if I'm finding speed, notice that distance is above time. So we go distance over time, like so. All right, what if I wanted to find time? Notice if I'm, if I'm trying to find time, that distance this time is above speed. So the formula for time is distance over speed. Lastly, what about the formula for finding distance? If I'm trying to find distance, you'll notice that this time speed is next to time. So we write that as speed times time. Those are our three formulas that we use and some people like to use this triangle technique to memorize the three formulas. All right, let's move into example three, question A. We'll start by using the formula to work it out. It says calculate the average speed of a car that travels 278 kilometers. This is D for distance in three hours, T for time. So we want to find the speed, which is found by using distance over time or in this case, 278 over three. Let's bring up our calculator here. And when it looks like a fraction, you can actually just use the divide button. So 278 divided by three gives us 92.6666. So we'll round this to 92.7 equals 92.7. And because we're using kilometers and hours, our speed must be kilometers per hour. Okay, so now I want to show you how you can do this using the four boxes technique. So we have one, two, three, and four boxes. Remembering, remembering that we had 278 kilometers and three hours. And what we're going to do is we're going to convert the units on the right side to the number one. And we're going to do it by dividing it by three on both sides. Okay, so 278 divided three is the same number we had on the left, 92.7 kilometers. And if I travel 92.7 kilometers in one hour, then I'm traveling at a speed of 92.7 kilometers per hour. Let's now move on to question B. This time it says if a car is traveling at an average speed of 62 kilometers an hour, so that's S for speed, how far will it travel in 3.5 hours? So that's our time. We're trying to find distance and distance equals speed times time. So using our formula, speed is 62 and time is 3.5 and we can just multiply those two values together. 62 times 3.5 equals 217. So we will have traveled 217 kilometers. Now I'll show you how to do this using the four boxes technique. Once again, we draw four boxes. All right, and we have a speed of 62 kilometers per hour. So we're going to write one hour on the right. We want to figure out how far we will travel in 3.5 hours. How do we do that? Well, we draw our two arrows and we can see that we're going to times by 3.5. 62 times 3.5 gives us our 217 kilometers that we would have traveled in 3.5 hours. We will now move on to our final question, question C this time. Harry needs to travel 189 kilometers, that's his distance, in order to get to his destination. 
How long will it take him to get to his destination if he travels at an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour? So S for speed there. Let's use the formula. So we are finding the time it's going to take and time is found by going distance divided speed. Our distance being 189 and our speed being 75. So grabbing our calculator and using divide 189 divide 75 equals 2.52. So it's going to take him 2.52 hours to get to the destination. Now while we're at that point, I would like to write it in hours and minutes. To do that, I'm going to press second function DMS and it gives me 2 hours 31 minutes and 12 seconds. In fact, let's write that all down. So that's really 2 hours 31 minutes and 12 seconds. All right, now moving on to the four boxes technique. So we draw our four boxes, one, two, three, and four. Um, Harry's traveling at 75 kilometers per hour. So we'll write 75 kilometers in one hour. And we want to see how long it will take for him to travel 189 kilometers. So what we'll actually do here is we'll use the unitary method. So we're going to convert our 75 kilometers to one and then we will convert it to 189 kilometers. So we need another two boxes below. To do that, we're going to divide by 75 on both sides, and then we're going to times by 189 on both sides, and that will get us to where we want to be. In fact, I'm going to do this all in, in one step. I'm going to grab my calculator and I'm going to go 1 divide 75, divide 75, and then I'm going to times it by 189. It's 189, so I'm skipping the second box here and I get 2.52. So we write 2.52 there, and we get the same answer as before, it would take 2.52 hours. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this lesson.